Is Orkut the future of VPNs? Orkut is a massive decentralized network of VPN service providers. When buying bandwidth on Orkut for private internet surfing, you utilize the OXT token and only pay for what you really need. Every time you want to access the internet anonymously and securely, you log on to Orkid and are matched with a reputable and high quality VPN service rather than using a single centralized VPN provider. What does the future of Orkid's cryptocurrency look like with a defined use case and an apparently expanding opportunity? Everything an investor needs to know about Orkid will be covered in this video, including what Orkid is and what's in store for it. So let's dive right in. What is Orkid? OXT. Orkid acts as a sort of decentralized marketplace, connecting those in need of bandwidth with those in the market to sell it. They trade with each other using the OXT currency as their means of exchange. Orkid consists of two main groups. The Orkid apps bandwidth users who want to access its decentralized VPN service come first. The second group includes bandwidth sellers who are Orkid network nodes that trade bandwidth for OXT. The peer-to-peer -peer connection is then encrypted and routed through the internet servers of the vendor once two users agree to swap bandwidth for OXT. Decentralized virtual private networks VPNs, were made possible by the introduction of the Orkid cryptocurrency which was designed to address some of the flaws in conventional VPNs. The largest and most obvious danger comes from the fact that there is a chance that the provider might misuse the data if all internet traffic is routed through them. Even if some VPN providers don't keep track of user behavior, they may still face subpoenas from the authorities and be forced to turn over some kind of user data. The critical flaw is intended to be solved by Orkut's design, which uses multi-hop configuration and multi-layer encryption through a decentralized app. The Orkut mobile app enables the bandwidth exchange for OXT cryptocurrency, providing customers with a private browsing experience. In practice, when internet traffic is channeled over an encrypted VPN tunnel, outside users, including the user's internet provider, are unable to see what's going on, and you're left with sweet, sweet privacy. But hold on. What differentiates using one standard centralized VPN from using one of several decentralized VPN providers? Aren't you still using the same provider? Not quite. Why are decentralized VPNs better? First off, if your load times are poor or you're not satisfied with your connection or provider, you can easily connect through a new provider and continue browsing anonymously using a decentralized crypto VPN like Orkid. With a typical VPN, you can change to a different private server within the network of that VPN, but not across providers. That's the major notable difference. It's not a big deal to connect to the internet just once by using any open or closed source. By collecting your browsing information over time and creating a profile of your identity, hobbies, and location, third parties violate your privacy. They can sell your information to advertisers who will send you unwanted advertisements, or they could give your information to a nosy government that keeps tabs on its citizens. Additionally, when you do online business, VPNs reroute your personal information, like your name, credit card information, and home address. Hackers and other unwanted people could get their hands on this information. With Orkid VPN, you could randomize your VPN connections to the internet by choosing from a wide range of service providers, which makes it more difficult for unwanted people to monitor, profile, or interfere with your internet activity. That's not all though. By allowing you to route a single internet connection across a number of different service providers, Orkid's crypto VPN network significantly reduces the likelihood that a third party would monitor, profile, or steal your information. The special characteristic of a decentralized blockchain-based service is known as multi-hop routing. Additionally, you could hide your identity and your activities on another level by paying for each hop out of a new Ethereum wallet. Your internet connection is considerably more private when multi-hop routing is used. Here's how it works. A new connection in a virtual private network is referred to as a hop. In simpler words, user traffic in multiple VPNs makes one hop from your device to the VPN server before continuing to the destination. Orkid, on the other hand, allows multiple hops, routing traffic across several servers en route to its final destination. Each hop ensures data security, and the concept is that as the number of hops increases, it becomes more difficult to trace internet traffic back to its origin. Sorry, hackers. What's in store for Orkid? Orkid is altering the way VPNs work as we now understand them and defying attempts to be categorized as a traditional VPN. No, it isn't yet ready for the general market. 
yes, it's slower than some of our top tier VPN superstars and more difficult for inexperienced users to operate than some of our tried and true favorites. But this is how VPN technology will evolve in the future. The speed, security, and pricing of the Orchid service are all interrelated and different from one another. Unlike other VPNs, Orchid doesn't let you connect to a specified country. Instead, you have to manually add a hop to a different VPN server by pasting its configuration file into a page on your Orchid app. You can choose the VPN server from either your existing non-Orchid VPN provider or from Orchid's global pool of service providers. The architecture closely resembles Tor's network, which lets you switch between user-run nodes to mask your data. The speed of each node you connect to will change depending on the type of connection its operator is using since anybody can set up an Orchid node on the company's bandwidth marketplace. The bandwidth cost for each node is also determined by the person running it. Some privacy experts would advise you to stop using consumer VPNs completely and go with Tor because of how transparent the VPN business ownership is. They're not completely off base. Governmental agencies still haven't totally cracked Tor's fundamental technology to expose users at will. But Tor has its limits. ISPs and network managers will notice you right away because of your Tor traffic. The websites can see it as well and often act quickly to block inbound Tor connections. The CIA, NSA, and FBI have all been known to camp out at or establish their own Tor exit nodes. As if it weren't enough, audio and video conversations through Tor's network of volunteer-run nodes are all but impossible since Tor can't transfer nearly as much data as a VPN can. This is a must-try for privacy enthusiasts who want to see what VPNs could look like in the future. However, for the majority of us, the onboarding process is a bit too difficult. The price requires too much guessing, and the learning curve is still significant enough to prevent uptake. Even by itself, a crypto finance hybrid VPN built on a market for selling bandwidth is a tricky concept for the average person to grasp. The developers of the app are under even more pressure to produce a pleasant user-friendly interface because of the originality of the technology involved and its mode of payment. The app's UI is cleanly designed and easy to use. While additional features are buried under a three-bar menu in the top left corner, the home page just has two buttons, one for connecting and another for managing your hops. You could utilize the traffic monitor option in the three-bar menu to check for data flow, but if TLS version 1.2 and UDP mean nothing to you, that screen might not be helpful. Aside from the difficult to understand jargon, those who are inexperienced with cryptocurrencies could also have trouble understanding how much money they have inside the app, how much they are currently burning, how the strange in-app tickets operate, and how to calculate bandwidth value. Orchid will need to provide a bit more assistance to get everyone on board in this situation. It's unfair that the app interface has to carry so much of the technology's weight, but it's in Orchid's best interest to lower adoption barriers and bring in more of us to where we all need to be for our own good, on a decentralized VPN, outpacing government surveillance, all seeing eye. Conclusion OXT has a market worth of $75 million and a price per coin of $0.10 cents at the end of July 2022. Based on the predictions by digital coin price, by the end of this year, OXT will cost $0.15. Cents. People who think that rising adoption of the Orchid decentralized VPN service will result in a rise in the price of the Orchid coin may see the cryptocurrency as a good investment because it's needed to use the Orchid VPN. There's no definite opinion on this though. Risky cryptocurrencies can be rewarding when the timing is perfect, but investors who are okay with the risk should be ready to possibly sustain significant losses as well. When it comes to altcoins, only risk what you can afford to lose. This is one of the best general investment rules, as well as a smart cryptocurrency rule. The demand for OXT cryptocurrency will rise if more and more people feel like Orchid is the best option for a decentralized VPN service. In theory, this would raise the price of OXT. If you want to try your luck, you can buy OXT on either Binance, Kraken, Gemini, or Coinbase. If you'd like to join Coinbase and support the channel, use the link in the description. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos. Please leave a comment below to tell us what you think about decentralized crypto VPNs. Also, consider checking out the channel for more interesting videos on interesting projects like Monero or how Solana is performing in the bear market.